dear viewers thank you for watching another video of my blazer playlist this video i will talk routing in blazer application for the purpose of this demonstration i will create a blazer component the blazer component and name it counter let's define a routing attribute over there so page directive creates the routing uh, attribute for any specific component and this is the uri of this component when pleasure application is compiled component class is generated for any specified component if any component has page directive like counter component the generated class will be given router attribute which is specific route template it is mandatory for any specified component to have page directive to get route template let's add this counter component route into menu Here is the app menu. Let's copy this code and paste here. Replace the name of new customer to counter and the URI register to counter. Here we can see the counter was the URI. Here, Napling is the ledger component. It renders an anchor tag. It has another nice feature that it automatically toggle active class if its SRF matches current URI. Let's see how it works in browser. So we have the counter. Let's discuss how routing actually works in Blazor application. This is the program.cs file. Here we can see that uh, the root component is the app. And this is the app component. And here this is the router component. Basically router component enables the routing in Blazor application. And it has an attribute app assembly and app component has been specified as a app assembly and it has two parts one is found another one is not found when the application starts router is can assembly to gather route information for the components that have route attribute At the runtime, when someone requests route, and if the route data is found in the context, route, route view receives those route data from router and renders a specified component with its layout, including any further nested layout. If it does not found this custom content will be visible in browser. Let's see. So here, the counter route is available. So we can see the data container counter component. But if I write counter one, so we can see that custom content, like sorry, there is nothing at this address. Blazor support multiple route templates using multiple page directives. Let's see. The currently counter component has one route and the URI is counter. 
you can add another route over there so it could be counter 2 let's see in browser so Blazor supports the multiple routes Blazor support route parameters to use components same name with parameters so let's define the route parameter so we can define route parameter by this way so the current count this is the parameter and this parameter needs to be declared in the code so it's the integer property of a counter class and here parameter attribute, attribute needs to be added and this is the public property so and since it is a integer so I need to specify it by clone integer over there current count and parameter could be optional by adding the value so let's see in browser if I request the route parameter value like 12 Blazor uses navigation manager to manage URIs and navigation state in C sharp code so let's inject navigation manager from dependent injection di Change navigate to home. Click here. Go to home. Here, the navigation manager. This is the navigation manager. Navigate to. So, okay. it's in browser. Let's click. That's all about the routing in Blazor. So please write a comment in the comment box if you have anything to ask and subscribe my channel so that you could notify for my future videos. Thanks.